In this movie we will tell you about how to work with dimensions in Floor Planner. Floor Planner has dimensions that are auto-generated. So if you are drawing rooms and walls, you will automatically get a set of dimensions that interact with the walls. This will speed up your drawing process a lot. You can easily click on the dimensions and enter the desired value. And click the arrows to indicate which wall to move. And likewise, get a floor plan with accurate dimensions very quickly. Also, most of the necessary dimensions are already there. When it comes to finalizing your floor plan, you might want to add or remove some of the auto-generated dimension lines. Let me illustrate it with this example. We traced this floor plan in a previous video. Now we'll finish the dimensions. Let's go to the information tools and click the draw dimension tool. We can also draw our own dimensions. These are separate lines so they do not affect your rooms. Click and drag your mouse and release and your dimension line is drawn. I want to indicate the size of the garden. After you draw these dimension lines you can select them and different from the auto-generated dimension lines you can move these lines. Just click them and drag them and they will line up nicely with the other dimension lines. Even with these dimension lines you can enter a desired value and modify them but then the walls will not move with them. In this menu we have a button to convert all auto-generated dimensions to separate lines. This means they do not interact with your walls. When you are ready with drawing your plan, it is time to use this button. Let me click it. You will get a question from Floor Planner if you are sure you want to convert your dimension lines. Well, in this case we want that, so I click Convert. And now I can click these dimension lines and you will notice that so they will not interact with my walls anymore. So now I want to move these a little bit upwards. This one I want to delete because I already have it over here. I want to have the size of the garden and the exterior walls on my left side. So I will draw it, click it and move it over here. I want to have the size of my garden over here. And now I'm missing the interior size of this wall to this wall. And I need this one. Now I only want to add this dimension. Done. 